there is a new group of baby modeling mamas in New York City. They're using their children as a side hustle for extra cash. This says, we're the baby model mamas of NYC. We hustle our kid fluencers to get a taste of stardom. That sounds like a great way to ruin your child's life yeah. before it even starts. Mm -hmm. um, but this is featuring one of the mamas, Kristen Wilkerson, a former America's Next Top Model living in the Upper West Side. She's a mother of four and she basically uses her child for extra income. Her 10 month old daughter, Rosie, is a professional model. She said, we randomly got her into modeling back in March and she's already landed eight castings. We absolutely love it, but I wasn't fully prepared for how much her modeling would affect my schedule. Of course. Well, how dare, Mom how dare your daughter affect your schedule when oh you're booking goodness. her modeling appointments? Mm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, the cherubs of Gen Alpha continue stealing the spotlight online. The demand for little VIPs on billboards, commercials, and in social media ads continues to climb. 58% of marketers gave babies featured roles in promotional materials last year, according to findings from Influencer Marketing Hub. Um, but she wasn't the only person featured in this article. It's as, this is a growing movement of moms in New York City who are using their kids to in this money. economy, yeah. <laughs> in Bidenomics, to make an extra income in the family. And there's just more space for advertising in general. I was reading this article earlier about hydro sta the uh, The Minneapolis St. Paul Airport is the first to implement hydro stations. If it sounds like a water fountain, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. But basically, so it's one of these things that not only does it fill your water bottle, it virtue signals by telling you how many single use plastic bottles they've saved <laughs> oh, every yeah, time you yeah. fill it up. And also it forces you to look at ads for the 16 seconds that it takes <laughs> to fill up your water bottle. So there's just 9,000 million different places that you can put ads nowadays that people see. Right. Um, Opportunities abound. Yeah, Gas there. station while you're paying. Yes. Screen yeah, exactly. Ads. I told you I saw, I, I saw a Sheets taco ad on a billboard recently, probably because they <laughs> save their important ads for non, you know, for advertising in the 21st century, not something from, you know, years past. Uh, another one of the moms whose baby is signed to a modeling agency in Midtown said, the world of baby modeling is really fast paced. Uh, if I haven't already told them that we weren't available on a specific day, they're expecting Rosie to show up as soon as she's hired. I'm a pastor and tra <laughs> traveling speaker with three older kids, so I usually have a lot of things to move around for Rosie's schedule. She's gonna crawl but it's a to, blessing. She's gonna have to crawl to that audition herself. Yeah, she's gonna need to call her daughter an Uber. Yeah. The agent will pick her up when she gets there. Um, but she said these shoots last around two to four hours and Rosie usually earns a flat rate. A small bit of her earnings pay for diapers and food, but we're more invested in making sure Rosie feels happy and confident for as long as she wants to continue modeling. She's 10 months old, by to the way. To do that, yeah, you how need to on earth would she express own. to you whether she wants to do this? Change her diaper <laughs> and feed her. She'll be fine. Also, <laughs> mention no mention of a college savings account. That's what I was or, thought she was going to That's what I thought she was going to say. An IRA, nothing. There's no <laughs> mention of pretending. this child earning the money herself, although I'm sure there are laws about that. I wonder if there are any like baby model dads. So you guys talked about the new law that's supposed to protect protect the kid fluencers from Chicago, their stage yeah. parents mm -hmm. in uh, Chicago. So what did you Illinois. learn from that? Is it actually going to make a difference? Yeah. Uh, so oh, I've already forgotten all the details about it already. Time I think passes. they proposed what like a it, like thirty percent. Uh, uh, has to be put away and can't be touched to the kid is 18. Yeah. Dude, it should be like 90%. Yeah. Because yeah, that it it just incentivizes it these stage parents mm. to use their kids' money. Well, also, like, I was like, what what officially qualifies you as an influencer? Does it mean you get paid for your social media yeah. platform? Does it mm -hmm. mean you have to have over a certain follower count? Does that follower account uh, change depending on the platform? Things like that. But again, laws like that very, like, especially digitally, things like that very rarely catch up with the real world. You know, laws yeah. are always behind. Yeah. Um, this other mom had her baby in a new ad for the iPhone 15 Pro 
on a Times Square billboard. Mm -hmm. I just think it's like the same ethical question of using someone's likeness after their death without their permission almost. It's somebody who cannot, you know, give permission that they're okay with this yeah. and later on they're gonna have to deal with the consequences because their face is everywhere. Should be just using CGI babies. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, honestly, I was gonna say we have AI now. Yeah. We have CGI AI, like we don't need to put children on billboards without their consent or the ability for them to give their consent. Yeah, rather. but how will these parents pay for the Merlot and the... Yeah, <laughs> and all of their vacations. Right. And all of their vacations. I mean, it's, it costs a lot to live in New York City these days. They need an extra provider. Um, one of the moms said, my whole life, I've always seen beautiful babies on billboards around the city, and I never thought my baby would be one of them. It's wild. So part of it is... She saw the Gerber baby and was jealous instantly. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of it, I understand, is like every mom thinks that their child is beautiful and should be a model. Um, so I understand why they're going to feel that way. But it just seems exploitative in a sense. It totally like, is. It's, it's filling a void for the parent. Yeah. Are you one of those people that... Uh, how do you feel about the, the people who try to tell... Like, you always have that one friend who's like, kids aren't cute. And they have to say that because it's uh, it's edgy to say so. But who says that? It's just something like, that everybody goes. The to. child free movement. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but of course, every parent is going to think their child is beautiful as they should. Mm -hmm. That's only natural. And then it hurts them when the when you go to the <laughs> casting call and the photographer is like, "We're not, we're not putting that thing on a billboard." No. Some babies just aren't billboard material. <laughs> yes, that's okay. the thing. And, and then she's <laughs> it's gotta, a dog eat dog world out there in the baby modeling industry. And then she's got to tell that kid later, yeah, we brought you to some auditions when you were a kid, but we never got any calls back. <laughs> Another never mom never said, our kids are going to be able to own any room and present themselves with con confidence. We're raising little go-getters. They're not going to internalize any of this. They're babies. They probably will internalize yeah. it, actually, but not at all in the way that she thinks. It's going to be purely a negative <laughs> subconscious exper experience for them. Because I, I understand why they would think that if they're naive, but have you seen the way that child stars are turning out these days in yeah, Hollywood? A lot goes into that though. It's not just that aspect. You're making your child incredibly image conscious from before mm -hmm. the point where they're even able to talk mm -hmm. or express their desires. Right. It seems like it's universally a and bad they, thing. They become conscious and aware before they can talk. Some kids, every kid develops differently. So they may be conscious and aware of what's going on to an extent, um, or at the very least know that they don't like it, but mm -hmm. they can't actually say it yet. The they baby's can't communicate like, it yet. So they know they are missing out on these auditions. They're going and not getting the role, but yeah. like they can't communicate that with the parent. Imagine that would be my concern. Freaky it would be if you're like that baby and now you're going through Times Square and you just see like a gigantic version of yourself up on a billboard. <laughs> it just freaks you out. Yeah. Like <laughs> babies learn how to recognize themselves in the mirror at a certain age. I don't know if they can oh, recognize so themselves on a billboard in the chat. that would really mess with someone's ego in the chat uh just here to ruckus says brett was the nirvana baby he keeps suing because yeah. of the cover to Nevermind. He said it was sexual what? harassment yeah. or something. And they, and he, uh, well, he like, he celebrated the album cover <laughs> when he was in his early 20s and then he tried to sue. Then he recontextualized. Yes, a, a therapist helped him recontextualize what happened to the, him. The only baby model that turned out well was the one who was the Teletubby son. Yes, Aww. because she has a kid. Yes. Now, now her, her baby like the... is the Teletubby son. Yeah. Aww. It's beautiful. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.